Hi friends, welcome you all. We are in the middle of last 90 days to CAT series and we are talking about data interpretation. Traditional charts like pie charts etc are now getting less frequent in CAT. Today we'll talk about a new chart which is called candlestick chart. Not new per se but new to the CAT's scenario. So let's begin. Let's talk about candlestick chart. I hope some of you have seen it. You know, people, the stock market lovers are really excited now. Let's see. Let's try and solve this really, really interesting problem. So what happens in a candlestick chart? So you can see these rectangles are called candles and these lines are called sticks. So what does the candle and stick represent? First off, the color green and red. Green represents that the market or the stock opened and closed at a higher value. So closed opened at a certain value and closed at value higher than that. What does red mean? Opened at a certain price and closed lower. What does the stick represent? The stick represents the maxima and minima for that stock for that particular day. For example, this stock had minima of 2360 approximately and maxima of 2415 approximately. Which day saw the maximum percentage increase in the stock price at closing from opening? If I talk about maximum percentage increase, these red ones have to be discarded. Why? Because there will be a negative percentage change in these cases. So day 4, day 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 are gone. So day 6 and day 7 have been crossed out. So 1, 2 and 10. So it's a beautiful ratio comparison problem. Let's have a look at day 1. Your closing, let's say 23.95 approximately and opening is somewhere around 23.60, higher than 23.60, 23.65, right? So the change is approximately 30 on a base of 23.65 in the first case. In the second case, if you see the opening is somewhere around 23.95. Finally, the closing is somewhere greater than 24.20 for sure somewhere around 24, 25 or 24, 30. The change here is again 30. Let's take a look at, you know, day 10. The stock opens around 22, 80, right? And closes somewhere around 22, 90, right? So a change of approximately 10 or 12 or 15 for that matter, not more than that. If you compare day 1 and day 2, you can you know see that the numerator is approximately same but denominator is greater. So day 2 will not give a highest change. Comparing with last day 1 and day 10, you can see the numerator here grows approximately 3 times or slightly less than 3 times. We have approximated some numbers here. But the denominator does not change by that factor. Hence, day 1 must give highest percentage change or highest percentage increase. So day one is the answer to the first one. I hope this is clear. Moving forward. What is the highest 3 DMA? 3 DMA, what is DMA average approx of three most recent closing prices? So if you will see the closing prices, the stock is going upward and then it is taking a downward trend and then stabilizing, right? So that's how the trend is. The closing prices will obviously be higher in the range where it is increasing or starting to decrease. Day, so if you will see day 1 to day 3 or day 2 to day 4, day 3, day 5, these are the places where we expect the maximum uh, average to be there, right? So if you compare day 1, 2, 3 and 2, 3, 4, so 2 and 3 will be common. If you see day 1, day 1 closing is somewhere around 2390 or 2395. If you will see the closing for day 4, it is closer to 2400. So day 4 closing will be somewhere around 2398, which is greater than day 1 closing. Right? So between 1, 2, 3 and 2, 3, 4, certainly 2, 3, 4 is better. If I compare 2, 3, 4 with any other, let's say 3, 4, 5, in that case, the closing price is further reduced. Right? The closing price is further reduced. Hence, 234 is going to give us the best 3-day moving average. Now, let's calculate it very, very quickly. So, what's the closing prices? Here, I have somewhere around 2398. Uh, on day 3, I will have somewhere around, let's say, 2430. And on day 
टू आई हैव समवेयर अराउंड अगेन ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी फाइव अप्रॉक्सीमेटली सो अज्यूम्ड मीन मेथड इज समथिंग वी कैन क्विकली यूज हियर इफ द एवरेज इज टेकन एट ट्वेंटी फोर हंड्रेड द डिफरेंशियल हियर इज ट्वेंटी फाइव हियर द डिफरेंशियल इज थर्टी एंड हियर द डिफरेंशियल इज माइनस टू सो दिस नंबर इज कमिंग आउट टू बी अराउंड फिफ्टी थ्री फिफ्टी फोर सो लेट्स द नंबर इज ट्वेंटी फाइव प्लस थर्टी फिफ्टी फाइव माइनस टू फिफ्टी थ्री डिवाइडेड बाई थ्री द नंबर इज अप्रॉक्सीमेटली एटीन ट्वेंटी फोर एटीन should be the answer the closest is 2420 what is the highest magnitude of change over the two consecutive days in the maximum price touched by the stock so maximum price you will get at the top of the stick now you just see the market has sharply declined or the stock has sharply declined in this period okay which basically means that this is the period where i should get magnet highest magnitude change If I compare the maximum prices between day four and day six, so maximum at day four will be somewhere around twenty four fifty five, and maximum at day six, if you see, is somewhere around twenty four hundred, right? So the the change here is approximately fifty. So anything which is below fifty goes for a toss. If you will see between day you know day five and day seven, so day five. the high is somewhere around 2415 right and if you will see day 7 will somewhere around 2365 the change here is somewhere around 50 right let's see something else let's see this one so here i have 2400 and here day 8 somewhere in the middle so 2330 right so what's the change here change is close to 70 now if you will see the slope indicates change the slope flattens okay it's not as steep here so no need to calculate any further i think 70 if you see is the steepest that it can get to the final question on which day is the ratio of the maximum price to the opening price the highest again a ratio comparison problem where is the ratio maximum so what we can do is to have that ratio we can take the change divided by the base right what is the base base is the opening price for day 3 if you will see the opening price is 2420 and what is the change if you will see 2440 so 20 is the change day 4 the opening is somewhere around 2430 the change here is approximately 30 to 35 right on a base which is 2430 so if you will see here i am getting one and a half times and the numerator denominator is not getting one and a half times so clearly day 4 is higher so i'll eliminate day 3 so it's always a relative comparison that will help you in such problems for day one if you will see the opening price somewhere around 23 65 right and what is the maximum price on day one the maximum price is somewhere around 24 15 right if you will see the change here between the opening price and the high that the stock makes is is close to 50 right it's close to 50 so now again very very clearly if you will see the ratio here is close to 1.6 the ratio here is not close to 1.6 here again the denominator further reduces so day 4 is also not good as compared to day 1 between day 9 and day 10 if you will see the opening price here is higher here the opening price is lower and the higher highest prices or the maximum prices is mostly the same so the ratio is certainly going to be maximum on in day 10 as compared to day 9 so day 9 is also more. now between day 1 and day 10 let's compare so this is this is what is there in day 1 and if you check day 10 the opening price in day 10 is somewhere around 2280 right and what is the high the high that it makes is somewhere around 2330 right 2330 now what's the difference here if you will see the difference here here the difference is again 50 but the numerators are approximately same but denominator is lower hence day 10 is the maximum i hope you enjoyed this and i hope you've enjoyed all of this as well for now start investing in learning thanks god bless